I'm Adam. And I'm Emery. And, and this, this is Where, Where There's, there's a, a Williams, There's, there's a, a Way. Hey, Emery. What would you say was the biggest day of your life? Um, probably being born. That was a pretty big day. That's a big one. But you probably don't remember it at all. But if I never had it, then I wouldn't be around today. Well, today's book is about Donovan's big day. Let's get started. Donovan's Big Day by Leslie Newman. Illustrations by Mike Dutton. When Donovan opened his eyes in the morning, he remembered that it was a very big day, and he had a very big job to do. But first, he had to tumble out of bed the minute Grandpa woke him up and not turn over and shut his eyes or hide his head under the blankets or go back to sleep or even just five more minutes. So you're saying that the biggest thing that this kid's got to do is not go back to sleep? He needs to get more going on in his life. I agree. Waking up isn't a very big deal. For me. For you, on the other hand... It's not my fault that I need my ten hours of sleep at night. But do you? We both know that I get a tiny bit irritable when I don't get my sleep. Hopefully, Donovan got enough sleep. He had to race downstairs and give Sheba her breakfast and gobble up all the pancakes that Grandpa served him and slurp down all the juice that Grandpa poured him and not drop his fork or spill his syrup or make any kind of fuss. He had to rush back upstairs and wash his hands and clean his nails and scrub his face and brush his teeth and rinse his mouth and comb his hair and not leave the bathroom a great big mess with water splashed everywhere and dirty towels all over the floor. He had to zip up his new pants, button up his new shirt, slip into his new jacket, buckle on his new shoes, clip on his new tie, and stay inside and not wander with his cousin Benjamin or run outside into the yard and let Sheba jump all over him with her big muddy paws. He had to tuck the little white satin box that Aunt Jennifer gave him into his inside jacket pocket and keep track of it at all times and not shake it or crush it or squash it or lose it, no matter what. He had to fly outside the minute he heard Uncle Gregory honk the horn and climb into the big back seat of Uncle Gregory's shiny blue car and squeeze in next to his cousins and sit absolutely still without kicking his feet so his new clothes wouldn't wrinkle and his new shoes wouldn't scuff. He had to be the first one to hop off his seat, scramble out of the car, scurry up some steep steps, hurry through a large sunlit lobby. This guy better be performing the wedding ceremony by the way they are talking about what he's got to do. It does seem like they're really making a big deal about a bunch of little things. Yeah, and where are his parents? I bet they're leading up to that and dash into a loud, crowded room full of hundreds of grown-ups, all dressed up in their very best clothes, and he had to say hello to every single one of them, while they shook his hand, gave him a hug, kissed his cheek, and told him how very handsome he looked on this very big day. He had to take his place with Grandma and Grandpa and Nana and Papa right behind his baby cousin Sienna, who had flowers in her hair and flowers on her dress, and flowers in a basket looped over her arm. And after he waited and waited and waited and waited, he had to walk, not run, not skip, not hop, not leap, not bounce, not dance, down the aisle. He had to stand very, very quietly and not tap his feet or fidget while one grown-up read a poem and another grown-up played the piano and another grown-up sang a song until Aunt Jennifer told him it was time and then Donovan reached into his inside jacket pocket and took out the little white satin box he had been keeping there and held it in his hand. He opened the box very carefully. He handed one shiny gold ring to Mommy. He handed one shiny gold ring to Mama. He stood next to both of them without saying a word while they slid the shiny gold rings onto each other's fingers looked into each other's eyes, said mushy things to each other, and smiled and laughed and cried. Oh, 
oh, I get it. It's a big deal because he's like the ring bearer and the best man all in one. You don't think that the big deal is that his two moms finally had a chance to get married? Eh, maybe. But I think it's the double duty. When the tall grown-up in the long black robe said, I now pronounce you wife and wife, Donovan threw his arms around his mother's while everyone clapped their hands and stamped their feet and whooped and whistled and hollered, Hooray! And then, after everyone grew quiet, Donovan remembered there was one more very big job for him to do. You may now kiss the brides. Gross. I hate it when you and mom kiss in front of me. They aren't kissing. Donovan is giving both of them a kiss on the cheek. I don't like that either. Your face is too scratchy. Not today. I shave for this video. And kissing is just a way for people to express their love. But it can be too much sometimes. I agree with you there. But one thing that isn't too much is liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I'm Adam. And I'm Emery. And, and this, this is Where, where there's, there's a Williams, Williams there's, there's a Way. way. Did you know the Netherlands was the first country to legalize same-sex marriage in 2000? The United States was the 22nd country to do so in 2015.